أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سورة المدثر I begin in the name of Allah the most affectionate the most merciful Ayat number 20. Then again, he accursed. How he calculated. And in the commentary it is mentioned, once Walid heard from the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam, a few verses, from Surah Hamim Sajda. And when he came to his people, he praised the Holy Quran in a great deal, which infuriated them. Abu Jahl said that he would put Walid right. He went up to Walid and said that the Quraysh are saying that you are praising Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in hope of gaining some wealth. The Quraysh are ready to go on a collection drive for you. Walid on hearing this became very angry and said that don't the people know how wealthy I am? In comparison, the companions of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had never eaten a full meal. What can such people give me? He came to the Quraysh with Abu Jahl and said to them, Is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam demented? They said, No. Is he a poet? They said, No. Is he a soothsayer? They replied, No. Is he a liar? They said, No. The people then asked him, You tell us. You tell us then, what is he? Walid replied, he is a magician through which he attracts the people towards him. Astaghfirullah. Ayah number 21. <laughs> then he looked around. And in the commentary it is mentioned. This tells us that to gaze at the Holy Prophet wasallam with the vision of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq is an act of worship through which the status of the companion is obtained while gazing at him. With the look of Abu Jahl is an act of infidelity. Observe here Allah Almighty describes one of the acts of infidelity of Walid by looking at the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with an evil eye. Eye number 22. <laughs> Then he frowned and became gloomy. In the book three one three. Madri Pansura, Treasures of Blessings, it is mentioned. Blessings of donating charity on the day of Ashura. I think we're on the seventh day of Muharram. Inshallah, a few days will become the tenth, which is on a Sunday. On the day of Ashura, in the land of Rea, a person came to a Qadi, meaning a judge, and asked, I am very poor and have a large family. I asked of you for the sake of the day of Ashura, please arrange for two kilos of bread, five kilos of meat, and ten dirhams of currency for me. May Allah Azza wa Jal increase your honor. The Qadi replied, Come after Zuhur. When the poor man came back after Zuhur, he was told, Come after Asr. When he came back again after Asr, he was still not given anything and was turned away empty-handed. The heart of that poor man had been broken. He became upset. 
He then went sorrowfully to a Christian and asked, for the sake of this honorable day, give me something. The Christian asked, in return, what day is it today? The poor man replied, today is the day of Ashura. After saying, after saying this, he explained some of the virtues and excellence of Ashura. On hearing this, the Christian said, you have referred to a very great day as a meditator. Tell me your need. So the poor man expressed the same need into the Christian. The man presented 10 sacks of wheat, 100 kilos of meat and 20 dirhams and then said, this amount is allocated for you and your family every month for a lifetime as regards to the extent of sacredness of this day. That night, the Qadi, meaning that judge where he previously went to see, saw in a dream in which someone was telling him, look up. When he looked up, he saw two splendid palaces. One was made from gold and silver bricks and the other was made from red rubies. The Qadi, meaning the judge, asked to whom do these two palaces belong to? It was replied, if you had fulfilled the need of the poor man, they would have been yours. But because you didn't give him anything, both of these palaces have been given to a particular Christian person. When the Qadi woke up, meaning the judge, he was extremely worried. As soon as the morning came, he went to the Christian and asked, What good deed did you perform yesterday? He said, How do you know of it? The Qadi then explained his dream to him and made the following offer. Take a hundred thousand dirhams from me and sell me the good deed you performed yesterday. The Christian then said, I will not sell it, not even for all the wealth of the entire world. The mercy and the grace of Rabb is great. Look, I am now embracing Islam. Upon saying this, he invoked, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Meaning I testify that there is not worthy of worship except Allah. Azza wa Jal. And I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his distinguished servant and prophet. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.